Since there has been a lot of confusion on which tank is equipped with what explosive reactive armor, I want to clear that stuff up and also explain how each one of them works. Russian tanks are equipped with all kinds of explosive reactive armor, namely Contact 1, Contact 5, Relict and now Malachit. Let me first show you how are you going to identify each explosive reactive armor. First of all, Contact 1 is relatively easy to differentiate from the rest. It is relatively small and covers most of the tank, like scale or mail armor. Now this is where confusion starts to appear. Contact 5 looks different on T80 and T72 series. On T80U and its variants, the EREA panels are separated from each other with 20mm steel plate and can be easily seen. On the turret, they are angled from 50 to 55 degrees. And there is a steel plate behind the EREA plates. Meanwhile, on T-72 and T-90 tanks, the EREA panels are not visible, and you can easily spot the rivets all over the upper front plate. On the turret, the plates are angled at 68 degrees, and because of that, they don't require a steel plate behind them, which is placed on T-80U to compensate for the angle. Another confusion created mainly by the media is the difference between Relict and Contact 5. There has been some misinformation circling around about new T-72 B-3 tanks being equipped with Relict. But the biggest issue is that it looks exactly the same as previous variants. So, people were quick to assume that Relict and Contact 5 look alike. But that is definitely not the case. Relict has a certain shape. It is spaced away from the hull, like this. We will get to the reason why a bit later and you can clearly see all explosive reactive armor blocks, unlike Contact 5 on T-72 and T-90 tanks. On the turret, Ragley blocks are always connected with each other, while Contact 5 blocks are separated on T-72. The difference can be seen on T-72 Rogatka from 2006, which was equipped with Relict. We can see how Relict looks like on T-90M and compare it to Contact 5 on T-90A tank, Clearly, they are different. So, how can you easily differentiate a relic and Contact 5? Well, Contact 5 on the upper front plate has visible rivets and you cannot see individual explosive reactive armor blocks. Relic has a certain shape and you can spot explosive reactive armor blocks. Exception is the ATU tank, which has visible EREA blocks. But as I said before, they separate from each other by 20 mm of steel. Another EREA is 4S24, but like Contact 1, it can easily be differentiated from the rest. 4S24 EREA blocks are big and are usually used on the side of the tanks. So, very small blocks are like Contact 1, big and bulky blocks are 4S24. While there is the latest Malachit EREA, everything you need to know about its identification is that it is only present on Armata series of vehicles such as T14 and T15. It is also another misinformation that tanks like T-90M are equipped with this kind of explosive reactive armor. It can be noticed that Malachit blocks are also much longer than any previous EREA blocks. So how do they work? Let's first start with Contact 1. Contact 1 has two 4S20 explosive panels inside the block and one steel plate. It only works against hollow charge munitions, so when a heat projectile strikes the EREA block of Contact 1, the jet stream comes in contact with 4S20 panel and it explodes, making the jet weaker. There is a steel plate with another 4S20 panel directly underneath it. So, when a jet strikes the plate, the explosive is ignited and it propels the jet outwards, stopping it completely or making it a lot weaker. It is also worth noting that Contact 1, unlike all EREA developed after it, can be detonated when struck by autocannon fire. And all of EREA blocks, including Contact 1, cannot detonate when burning. Next up is Contact 5. Unlike Contact 1, which was pretty useless against APFSDS projectiles, Contact 5 got that fixed. The explosive equivalency in TNT got increased from 0.28 kg in Contact 1 to 0.33 kg in Contact 5, with 4S22 explosive. And more substantial steel plate is used. When the Contact 5 block gets hit, 4S22 explosive panels, which there are multiple pieces in one block, get ignited and propel the steel plate outwards. The bigger plate and more powerful explosion ensure that APFSDS projectiles penetration will get degraded, as well as hollow charge projectile. 
It is said that contact fire reduces the penetration of APVSDS by some 20%. But there have been newer APVSDS projectiles developed to counter the contact fire VREA, such as MA2983, with a separate steel tip. That is why Relict was developed. Remember how I said Relic blocks are spaced away from the hull? Well, that is because there are two steel plates in play now, one above and one beneath the explosive panel. In this case, Forest 23, which is developed to be more sensitive to more modern APFSDS and tandem-shaped heat designed to beat older EREA. So, when Relict block gets hit, the Forest 23 panel explodes, sending one plate outwards and the other towards the back, ensuring that even APFSDS with a tip will get affected and increasing the overall protection against other types of APVSDS and heat projectiles, including the tandem-shaped ones. The 4S24 blocks use, of course, the 4S24 explosive panels. They don't have any actual name. The 4S24 explosive panels use twice less explosive power than 4S20 of Contact 1, that is 0.14 kg to be exact. There are multiple explosive panels and plates inside the 4S24 block, positioned at certain angles to work like a mixture between EREA and non-explosive reactive armor, and with certain fillers between panels, possibly to ensure the detonation of the entire block when it's struck. And, of course, there is Malachit, but there is absolutely nothing known about it yet. I also want to know that you shouldn't confuse any of the previously mentioned explosive reactive armors with the experimental ones, such as the cactus used in Black Eagle project. And that is it. I hope this video helped you understand the EREA of Russian tanks, and that you can now, without much trouble, know which one is which when you see a tank equipped with explosive reactive armor. If you like my channel and the content I make, please consider supporting my channel on Patreon. And if you have some questions or just want to chat, join my Discord server, and I will see you all in the next video. Have a nice day.